coming to you from the Big Apple in the Manhattan, New York. And I just think about Taylor Swift songs. Which again, I can't Alicia put on this Keys. video because that would sound right. But I can sing them. I'll insert a clip of you singing it on top of the Rockefeller <laughs> Center. I'll let I'll let those listening or oh, watching man. this decide themselves. Be, I will act, I will legitimately singing. include the clip in three, two, oh. one. Don't judge too harsh. But the New York Girl Pump Up song. Where dreams are made what, what, what of. What me? There's nothing you can do. And we're back. <laughs> what was more embarrassing? The lack of pitch or me having to record her and realise she's my girlfriend <laughs> in front of everything? Hey, I know I'm a bad singer. Okay. I'm not going around so, saying okay, I'm great. a good singer. All right, that's fair. No, no, that's fair. I'll give you that. That's, that, that's scary. Uh, you know, when you're in New York. You're in Alden to Alicia Keys. New York. I did hear that a few times in Times Square. <laughs> Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. Other than that Rockefeller clip. You can't do. The background just to hopefully prove it and it's full of just constant buzzing, sirens, honking, hustle, yeah. and energy oh. through in Central Park, which yeah. is one of the few, I guess, places of where you get the serene. Yeah, yeah. From what feels like this infinite. I thought Melbourne was big and I've been to some big nah. cities and Tokyo is pretty big, but like nah. New York's a different level. It's a beast. This is the first time you've done a city this big, eh? It is. It sure is. Yep. And it's an experience that I wanted to experience. I'm happy that I've experienced it and tick the box. Yep. And I'm not craving to come back. No, that's so <laughs> satiated. Seven days and you start? I think we did a bit more than seven just days. Seven. Yeah, yep. like just over a week. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Got here on a Sunday, I think. Yeah. It's Tuesday. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you for sticking around, by the way, or whether you've just joined us here on episode nine or you've gone back to one and binged us all. And we're hopefully <laughs> getting a little bit more synced and a bit better episode by episode. Yeah, we'll try waffle less. We love to share kind of three big ideas uh, or growth areas that we experienced this week. From the week, um, yep. So rather than just hitting you with that, you know, influencer highlight reel, um, we're really big on the hows and whys behind yes. it all. So Absolutely. a couple of ideas to, to marinate over and to help you yep. form your idea around them. First and foremost, the big city life. <laughs> what are you thinking? So, love me a little city, you know, here and there. Little excitement. New York's not a little city, though. It's a big city. But it's made me really realise what I do and don't want in life. Ooh. And I have been in a city for the last 10 years. I mean, a few gaps here and there, but more or less. Yep. I am over it. For reference, what city was that? Just Brisbane. Yeah. It was Brisbane City. Yeah. So Brisbane's a little city. Yeah, little sister of all the big ones in Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I just, being around the constant noise, the buzz, the hustle, people everywhere, the smells. Oh, my oh. God, the smells here are... Ugh. Yeah, with your sensitive... Um, and I have come to learn that I'm very sensitive being to the environment that I'm in, yeah. and I just feel way more at peace, way more at ease when I am in and close to nature yep. and the cities are not really filled with nature obviously yep. here in Central Park it's beautiful but yep. like you've well, got to yeah. be literally in the middle of the city um, and there's just so much input that I think my body can take and so I've mm. very much realised I next chapter of my life needs to be immersed in nature yeah it's great yeah and and I think yeah there's a <laughs> there's there's a very timely closing of the book because you also have come up to nearly a decade in living in Brisbane, mm. as you mentioned, give or take a few kind of. Yeah, you know. and I love Brisbane. Like I will always have a soft spot for it. Yeah, yeah. And it's not to say that I hate cities. Yeah, no, no. And you had a really good period of, of studying, yeah. meeting people, socialising, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and starting your career. And I still city. will love going to them yeah. for a small, you know, bit of my life and a and a holiday, but it's more not a long term thing. It's more of a short term thing Definitely. now. I think the way we're doing it seems like it's right. We toe step into the city. Mm. We, we we kind of, you know, scra satisfy scrape, that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, satisfy that each. Like, like scrape the cream of the crop yeah. of the experiences yeah. and we're out. We're not staying in them. Nah. Often we're usually kind of residing in a quieter or more yeah. suburban location. And yeah. We just kind of jump in, jump out. Yeah. yeah. And on and on my end, or on that note as well, about kind of like closing that loop, um, there was a, my, I guess I had an open loop when I started my commerce degree. Big, flashy business. Think like, Suits, Harvey Specter, um, you know, banking, all this crap and ego. That anyway, we're going at large. But there was an identity for my life for about three to four years that was like very easily molded by that because everyone around me in, in my life was pursuing that. And it was either like New York and London were considered like the mecca 
or the natural ascension for like Australians in commerce, whether you were in banking or consulting or accounting, at some way your big four firms um, or privates were going to take you overseas to, to these really big status-driven, money-hungry, climb the corporate ladder environments. Nothing wrong if you've decided on that and that's a life you love and it lights you up and inspires you and, and you serve the world at that highest. Um, but I quickly realized like that is not not what I think I was destined for or not what I'm actually drawn to. Um, but but it showed the power of proximity mm. and the shower, you know, whether it was even media on the shows I was consuming, mm. the circle of friends that I was around, mm. um, that I somehow had just, yeah, inherited or absorbed um, that, that I thought that was what my life would look like or a successful life would look like. Mm. Um, and I only just got a few slivers of it, a few internships, um, a few jobs, a few summers working in a big suit and I just knew I couldn't do it. Mm. Um, and so there was probably a part of me that always thought, oh, but I wonder what New York would look like um, and coming here with you mm. from a traveling lens, not from a like a corporate professional working yeah. lens. I'm very glad that I think this is what I was actually itching for. Yeah. I did want to see the energy of a big city. Yeah. I do like the excitement, the multiculturalism, yeah. um, the always on energy. Yeah. Cause I do have that very, you know, like, you know, likes multiple flavors yeah. and dipping into multiple things. And so do I. And so yeah. do you. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's mm. part of what you are, but I, mm. but I can now, at close the chapter literally as we're leaving New York like tonight on a yeah. red eye bus yeah. to, to, to say like yeah I may never come back here again and I'm okay with that yeah. I'm open to it for every reason yeah but, like if know. it's for it's something for like or, or a, yeah. you know, conference but or I, workshop yeah but I like, wouldn't come here on holiday no no absolutely not and I think we kind of I kind of ticked all the boxes of all the holiday things we wanted to do yeah. this trip anyway yeah yeah you know, 100% like, like what are some of the things we did just rattle off like Oh, like we it's went like we and like did the lookout up at one of the buildings. Yeah. We went to the Museum of Modern Art. Yep, we did that. Did the, the classic New York eats. Ate the classic foods, yep. the bagels, the burgers. Yeah, yep. that's it. Yeah, we... Yeah, got to the Brooklyn Bridge. Wandered around wandered some around. of the, like, suburbs. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Got smashed by taxes, tips and currency conversions. Oof. Expensive. And that's yeah. okay. And we did it and we love it. And I had a $60 pastrami, which was the best pastrami <laughs> sandwich in my life. I'm going to say it again. Amazing. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, we've we've we had close a nice that loop, we've satiated, we've really ticked that box, and it's like reaffirmed what we do want. It is and yeah, don't yeah. want. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and it's reaffirmed for yeah. me that that identity of mine really was just like temporary yeah. and transient. Yeah. And for you as well, the season of living in cities served yeah. its purpose. Yeah. But like you can move on with like yeah. appreciation. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Love it. All right. Number two. Let's hit it. Number two. Okay. Listening to my body and connection in times of stress is the point that I wrote down. So I, we have been filming um, some work for a company back home while we're here. So it hasn't been totally like leisure and the work days are pretty full on yeah. and they take a lot of energy and we may have mentioned that in previous podcasts. But we, because we have limited time here, that also is like, we've got to get this work done while we're here, yeah. while we're well. And so on the Friday... I was feeling under the weather and I just knew I'd had a few nights of rough sleep and I knew that I was kind of like teetering on the edge of probably getting sick. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think the old me would have gone, you'll be right, just push through. We need to get this done. There's no other Very way. Awesome. This is what we've planned. Yeah. You need to stick to yeah. it. Yeah. But instead I was like really like parking the brakes and be like, I need to rest. I need to have a really good sleep tonight. And then you were really supportive and listened to me and we we came up with an alternative and we we made it work. Yeah. Um, and then I did wake up really yeah, shit cool. the next morning and I was feeling unwell. So like, also, side note, I was hoping that Aura would like yeah. show me in the stats that I was Oof. feeling. But it didn't. Shots and fired. I don't think anything can replace listening to your body. Wow. I don't think any technology will yep. be able to know before you know, yep. as long as you have a good yeah. connection with your body. Like a lot of people yeah. don't. And so I guess yep. maybe they rely on the rings, yeah, but, listen, yeah. um, or the technology, I should say. Um, so yeah, that was just an aside, but back, back to what I was saying. So I woke up feeling yucky the next morning. I felt shit, you know, just like dreary and tired and sore throat and you know I was also like oh we have so much to do I'm not going to be able to do it today and you kind of get in that negative headspace when you're sick and I yeah, am really nice. hard on myself and don't let myself just rest learning to 
Um, and then I was trying to do something and I it wasn't working and so I was getting even more frustrated and then I like put out a request to Dan to like help me with it but in a not very welcoming way quite a like passive aggressive way um, and it's ironic because it's like that behavior pushes you away but yeah. what I actually need what I'm actually needing is for you to come close I need some connection and I feel like I just need a hug yeah. but I struggled to actually verbalize that. Yeah. And then obviously when I say those things, it's harder for you to connect with me and you kind of like logically know that I'm stressed and shitty and, yeah. but then but my it doesn't system, make sense. My yeah. The signal I get from you yeah. basically overrides my nervous system. Yeah. Which is despite how many books I've read, yeah, how much yeah, of these yeah. lectures, yeah. how much we've spoken through yeah. this. Yeah. And I also know so that me doing that behavior is yeah. like yeah. my nervous system not coping or I'm not managing my stress yeah. and I'm putting it onto you. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. These Tricky. dynamics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you say to, to like, now that we've kind of worked through it and come together, how would you ideally play back that situation? Um, to give a worked example, as an academic would say. <laughs> a worked example. So that, so that others can actually, and we can also be accountable to holding ourselves to a different standard. I think it's like, I, 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 th I think I should have turned to like a somatic practice to like deal with it myself or like down-regulate myself before putting my request to you yeah 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 i like it mm. and i think i'm I, on my side as well i think i um i wish i or would verbalize and commit to in the in the future commit to like verbalizing and just purely acknowledging literally saying the words hey mm. i can tell this is like real rough and real mm. hard mm. like literally just saying because i think it just pauses this momentum mm. of what felt like this like really aggressive tennis volley mm. you're like you smashed a massive set my way and then i'm like running hustling at the back of the court kind of <laughs> fling and put something back and then you're just like with this that's overhead. a good analogy you're running to the net this overhead and you smack it back Bang. down exactly or, <laughs> and you see those massive ping pong rallies that experts and someone's just going smack and then someone's running 50 meters back we and, also like had this moment like oh, afterwards of being like humor should interrupt the moment but then we thought about like it's way too tense there are times humor. when humor doesn't dissolve and out. then like <laughs> r-e-s-p-c-t <laughs> I think I think we had a live band <laughs> playing music later that night. We were yes, we did. We did. And they were playing RSVSPC, and I was like, "Yeah, I need it." Because I needed to respect you more, and like in the way that I converse with you. Like yeah. I don't normally converse with you like that, yeah. and yeah. yeah, I have modeled that behavior off you know what I've grown up with. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I've modeled a behavior yeah. of freeze and run and of the avoidant. Yeah. When as soon as there's signs of danger and yeah. snarkiness, when the irony is that it's like both of you could co-regulate yeah. and move forward together mm. if you actually connected. Mm. Yeah. Um, but all of your external behaviours are becoming two massive repellents yeah. or deterrents for each other. Mm. Um, and, yeah, I, I just thought that was a um, that was a, 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 a nice... It was, it was nice to see, though, that, like, within that same day, just a few hours later... Like, I know I went for a walk. You went for a walk and I reflected on yeah, it and I on. had a shower yeah. where it's my thinking time yeah. and... Felt better after a shower, ironically, yeah. which yeah. I should have just been doing yeah. instead of trying to do work. Yep. But <laughs> instead of the topic, it's never, it's never just the tech that's annoying. No, no, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we were able to repair really quickly, which is something that we're really proud of, that yeah. we are really able to reconnect quite quickly. Yeah. And it's getting quicker and quicker. Yeah. Yeah. And, and repair, what I want to say is that, like, if you've been in an environment where your family, similar to mine, um, you've never seen or had mm. displays of repair mm. like it's really uncomfortable and mm. it's really awkward mm. it's kind of like learning a new language yeah you may be really fluent in english or eloquent and this mm. is like what i thought with maddie as well i was like i'm great as an mc i'm great with clients i'm great like on stage i have all these different contextual forms of communication just like maddie's like exceptional as a you know someone who can de-escalate situations as a mm. paramedic or even as a midwife can soothe and meet people emotionally with mm. beautiful sympathy and everything and i've seen it but it's like the language of relationships is actually a whole new language, mm. technically. And if we've had a relationship blueprint that for the first 20 years has been modeled predominantly on our parents, mm. coupled with then like the media and the Hollywood, mm. rosy relationships and then the scandals, we actually often don't have a strong North Star. So I just no. wanted to say, like, if you're watching this and we talk about repairing, like I just want to really own it, but like yeah. I still get you know, like, like I can it's speak, in, I can speak in front of 5,000 people publicly, 
but but for me to like come and apologize and mm. acknowledge and just like in divided vulnerability with my mm. partner who I've loved for over six years, mm. like that's still difficult. Mm. So if, if, if you feel we're just like paying off as like repair is easy, it's not. Mm. I just want to be really clear. And there's like, there's no, there's no right words to say. It's no script. No, it's because like, we used to stew on this for like days, days or weeks. We wouldn't repair yeah. until, and we, yeah. that, like that was would just hard. build resentment, yeah. just compound and the small little things yeah. would tick up. Or yeah. Whatnot. Yeah, so, we just push it to the side and ignore it because yeah. that, that's what we are modelled. Yeah. So if you yeah. if you have a relationship with some with a conscious partner of yours that is committed mm. to, to learning how to like, you know, overcome these mm. challenges, transcend maybe some of the mm. relationship limitations, let's say, of your parents, mm. then I think something that really helped us in recency was saying, mm. hey, I'm going to be trying to say words and trying to express things that I have never expressed before. And it's going to be really uncomfortable. Mm. And I hope you can give me the grace and the understanding that it's like, I won't be clear. I won't be fluent. I might be stuttering. I mm. might be a bit nervous mm. and I still do. And something about just like the other partner getting in sync and going, absolutely. Yeah. And I want to do this because yeah. it makes us better. Yeah. And we like, had that conversation. That conversation that was a game changer yeah. for me. Yeah. And that's why I think the repair gets quicker. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we've been here before. We yeah. know it's not the tech that's, yeah. that's the issue. It's, it's not that. Yeah. It's just something underneath. Yeah. 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 I'm feeling shit and I want your connection and support. Which, yeah. yeah. And my brain, even in the moment, is quicker going nervous system. I know you're absolutely fried right now, <laughs> but like this girl needs some connection. Yeah. And at least you can acknowledge that sooner than like, oh, she's, why is she having a go at me? Like yeah. it used to be my ego. It literally used to be, I take it personally. Yeah. I think, what did I do wrong? I'm doing this. She's not acknowledging this. Why? Yeah. And wrong? I would take out my stress on you. We'll still do. <laughs> Work in progress. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. All right. And third and final point. Setting boundaries, setting boundaries in ambiguity. We attracted a challenge from the universe yep. in the last week that uh, called us to audit um, a habit that we both have. Mm. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's called maybe chronic, but definitely mild instances of people pleasing. <laughs> yeah. um, and burdening bowing to others. And bowing to others. Yeah. And caring about other people who may even be strangers, maybe temporary, maybe patients that you never see again, yeah. maybe hosts that we stay with in Airbnbs, mm -hmm. maybe others in a car park or others in yeah. public. Um, and doing so not only at the discomfort of ourselves, but sometimes at the discomfort of even like our partner. Yeah. Um, and we had a moment mm -hmm. this week where while we won't name exactly, you know, identify who it was, no. how it came about. I think that the overarching challenge that we have is reading into a situation and forming a conclusion, right, based on your perception or based on what you think the other person wants, mm. I think is, is what kind of caught us a little bit off guard and made yeah. us feel challenged. How, I mean, how did you feel about... It was hard. I just felt like there was this unspoken expectation of us to sort of like bow to their... Needs, needs yeah. that we that she knew, we knew, you know, she needed help with this yeah. certain thing, yeah, yeah. even though she'd never like explicitly asked, yeah. Um, and we felt like we needed to explain ourselves as to why we were not willing to bow, but that's the habit that we're trying to break, yeah. And it was really difficult because you know, there's also a bit of not pressure, what's the right word for it? Like, we get a review from this person. Yeah. And so, like, there's obviously also that. And a performative it's aspect. It's performative, it's performative, yeah. that's the word. And I think yeah. when there's performative yeah. elements involved yeah. is when I struggle the most. Like, yes. I'm okay setting boundaries, you know, when it's a patient or, mm -hmm. like, um, you know, there's no stakes involved. Mm -hmm. I guess there's stakes involved in a patient, but I don't know, yeah. Mm. Bad behaviour is bad behaviour in my opinion. But, um like it's not bad it wasn't bad behavior it was just like unspoken expectations yeah yeah, yeah. And, I, and and i think that's in, in ambiguity where i'm trying to learn more and more uh through like modeling strong communicators is the frame up is usually the most important thing and i think this phrase in like negotiation maybe it was chris voss or one of those fbi negotiators says like he who controls the frame like leads and win and often wins the conversation or wins mm. the, the negotiation whatever it is and everything in life's negotiation or a sale of some kind mm. of like form of influence with a partner a loved one you know whoever you're dealing with and in this situation um basically circumstances had changed so there was yeah. a previous conversation that we would help them in a certain form yeah a particular form 
time was then being blown out due to forces that were outside yeah. of all of our control, but it would really inconvenience us, our sleep, our yeah. plans and all the above. Yeah. And in this moment when I think like you, your, your kind of knee jerk reaction, which was similar to mine, was to think, oh, like, okay, how do we do it? What do we communicate? We yeah. felt a little bit uncomfortable. We're like, yeah. oh, do we? And then we started being like, oh, do we have to excuse, make all these excuses? Yeah. Like, oh, you've been feeling a little bit more sick. Yeah. And I was like, why are you saying that? Like, that's not even right. You know? Yeah. And, and Brian Holiday, I think, says like, you know, the answer, the word no is a word and a sentence in, in and of itself. And we struggle, I think, sometimes just letting people down, mm. especially if you think there's a performative element mm. in Big order time. to protect ourselves. So we kind of caught ourselves before yeah. we wrote a text. Yeah. Back and forth to it. Yeah. And what was kind of the... Figured out like an alternative. Yeah. Like me in the, the middle. What was the What was the meet in the middle? How do we do yeah. that? Yeah. We... Well, you went down and like yeah. figured out if there was... This option was possible. Yeah. And then it was. Yeah. And so we just like put that option to her. Yeah. Hope that's okay. Yeah. But yeah. set the boundary with like, you know, 11.30 p.m. is yeah. the latest yeah. that we are able to stay up. Uh-huh. Um you know, because sleep's important yep. and so then now, left it at that. There was that. more yep. reasons why we yep. just gave to bed, to. but we didn't, we didn't yeah. Yep. Um, and then and it was all okay. Yep. There's no issues whatsoever. No. And yet so. in our mind, we thought it was going to be this, oh no, because yeah. make, make them uncomfortable, we might get a yeah. bad review and all this kind of stuff. And yeah. maybe you have to say that Maddie's sick and all this kind of, it was just like. But then we also we were like, what do they do when we're not here? Yeah. 100%. So, so why are we taking on? Yeah. yeah this, this and it was never like confirmed are you definitely okay to help with blah 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 blah. 100%. So, so we thought, just made like we own the frame. We yeah. own the frame, yep. Yeah. Instead of we just we just put it out there, we named it. Yeah. Um we put forward our boundaries, but then we also said oh, I really like that, how we're willing to meet you in the middle, as yeah. you said. It, like we didn't just leave them high and dry. No. We said this is our next best alternative and then we gave yeah. them the choice. We even kind of said, Are you okay with it? Hey, yeah. 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 And so that was a a lesson in Yeah. I definitely like would have just caved and yeah. put myself yeah. on the back burner yeah. for them yeah and then being resentful days later being like why do i feel so crap and run down yeah all because of that moment where yeah yeah so catching ourselves more often which we're grateful for because we have a partnership and we can kind of see when the other person yeah is, is potentially really, falling yeah. into an old pattern we're trying to yeah. go on but um yeah. yeah there's just a catch that if you find yourself um over explaining mm. to someone like just just if this if i can pay this one forward and it's like no is often more than enough and mm. if you have someone who can't accept no as an answer that's probably more on them mm. than it is on you because I think it is abnormal for a human to be able to say yes to every request from everyone around them yeah um, yeah yeah it's like we constantly feel like we need to justify ourselves and yep. our decisions yep. and yeah. yeah and not going out and not doing things yeah yeah like I get that no is hard and I think we think no is a bit more palatable to say and receive when there's a reasonable excuse to yeah. go with it yeah because we want someone's sympathy or we want to feel we want to like absolve the guilt that we feel for mm. letting someone down but mm. I think the most important person you should be worried about is like do I let them down or do I let myself down mm. because you are with you until the day that you die mm. so I would rather let someone else down rather than myself down because I have to live with that realization yeah. every time yeah yeah easier said than done but it's a big work in progress definitely and I think well, we might leave it up for a time in New York yeah what do you reckon yeah, it's, it's it's been awesome, a great experience, one that I'm definitely glad I had. Yeah, I'm not just uh, you from coming here. No, you love like, big city life or not? I like get here. It's, it's cool. all it, it is an experience. Like it is the cities of all cities, and there's just everything and anything. It's very much eye opening. The money, the wealth, the poor, the homeless, the, the drugs, the live, food, yeah. the multiculturalism. It's yeah. just everything. Like, whew. I, I am exhausted though. Yeah. It's drained me. I'm, I'm wrecked. Yeah. And it we're has be, fully drained me. We're going to be more wrecked. Exactly. Yeah. So we're, we're, what is the next uh, the next week ahead just to keep everyone keep everyone on a cliff? We what are, are getting on a for? bus overnight yep. mm, right to back to Montreal and then flying back to Calgary. Yeah. Back to our sweet little van. Yeah. Back on it. And then prepping our Ooh. lives for Burning Man. The line straight down. I'm not even sure where we'll be when we record the next episode. No, we don't We know. could already have hit the road. Yeah. Getting out of Calgary on our yeah. way to Nevada, big yeah. desert, so we could have crossed the border. Yeah, yeah. We don't know. We we don't know how we're getting there. We'll, but we know it's down. Yeah. We haven't planned the route or anything, so Google, stay tuned. Google Maps will. Hey, we might be recording this from the road. Maybe this will be an yeah. in-car episode. Yes, yeah. Yes. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Love you and leave your friends. Bye. See you on episode ten. Catch ya.